quickly improve how your team keeps the ball with these 12 essential possession and keep ball drills. The 4v1 is a possession drill that shouldn't be overlooked and is a pro activity for all ages. Inside your 7x7 seven seven yard area there will be 4 possessing players with 1 defender. The possession players must try to make as many passes as possible with the defender trying to win the ball back. If the defender is able to win the ball back, they will swap with the possessing player who lost the ball. Especially with younger teams who are learning the basics, you really want to focus on receiving the ball on the back foot and in an open body position, as well as using the inside of the foot to pass the ball. You may want to make the area larger, so it's easier for them to keep possession. With more advanced teams, the focus should be on creating angles to receive the ball and playing first time passes where possible. Making the area smaller will make it more challenging for the possessing team. Once your players have mastered the 4v1 rondo, the natural progression is the 3v1 rondo. With one less player, the possessing team will really have to focus on their movement off the ball to help support their teammates on the ball. Players really have to ensure they are looking up and using the information in front of them to try and anticipate where they need to move to next. Again, if the defender is able to win the ball back, they will swap with a possessing player who lost the ball. You can also adjust the size of the area to make it easier or harder depending on the skill level of your players. The 4v2 rondo is next up and introduces two defenders into the middle instead of one. With the introduction of two defenders, the possessing team can now attempt to play passes that split defensive lines. This is great for teams who want to keep the ball under pressure and look to quickly play forward when there is space in behind the defenders. For every five passes the possessing team makes, they will get one point. However, if they are able to play a pass that splits the defenders, that will also be one point. Players need to be patient in the build up and focus on pulling the defenders apart by quickly moving the ball around the outside and look to play a pass between the defensive lines when the space is big enough. The player opposite the player on the ball should be looking to find spaces between the defensive lines, with the other two players creating angles to the left and right of the player on the ball. This is a great 4v2 rondo variation that your players will love. Create two 10 by 10 yard areas with four goals and two teams of six. Two players from each team will go into the opposite team's square to create two 4v2s. The possessing team in each area must keep the ball away from the defenders with three passes equaling one point. If the possessing team can play a pass that splits the defenders that will also equal one point. If the defending team is able to win the ball back, they can score in either of the goals for one point. At the end of the timer, combine the scores of the possessing team and the defenders of the same team and the team with the most amount of points will win the round. If you're enjoying the content, please drop a like and subscribe so I know to continue to make these kind of videos. This 4v2 possession variation really focuses on not only just keeping the ball, but also quickly transitioning from defense to attack or attack to defense. Take this out from the previous drill without the goals and two teams of four. One team will start with the ball with two defenders coming into their half. The possessing team must try and make as many passes as possible, with 5 passes equaling 1 point and a pass split in the defenders equaling 1 point as well. If the two defenders win the ball back, they must try to pass the ball back to their teammates in their own half so they become the possessing team. Now it's their turn to score points. Two players from the opposite team will now enter their area and try and get the ball back for their team. If the ball goes out of bounds off the possessing team, then the defenders will gain possession of the ball. However, if the ball goes out of bounds off the defending team, the possessing team will remain in control of the ball with their pass tally going to zero. Once a change in possession occurs, it's critical that teams are able to quickly react to the transition, whether they are attacking or defending. Although there is a greater numerical advantage, this 5v2 rondo is a great way to challenge your teams. For this, you'll need a 10 by 10 yard area with two goals, a possessing team of five and two defenders. One possessing player will act as a central midfielder. In this instance is the blue number 7. The purpose of this possession drill is to help the central midfielders find space to receive the ball between defenders and look to play on the half turn. If the possessing team is able to make 5 passes in a row, they will get 1 point. Who can then pass it to a different player on the outside, that will also be 1 point. If the defenders are able to win the ball back, they can score in the goals for 1 point or they can get a point if the ball goes out of bounds off the possessing team. If the ball goes out of bounds off the defending team, the attacking team will remain in possession of the ball, however their pass tally will reset to zero. The team with the most amount of points at the end of the round will be the winner. If your players are struggling to keep possession of the ball as the pressure increases, this is a fantastic possession game that will increase pressure as the players gain success. Divide your 15 by 20 yard area in half with two teams of four in each half. One team will have the ball with one defender from the opposite side going in to try and win the ball back. Once the possessing team is able to make three passes, they will gain one point. However, another defender will then be able to enter the area. This will now create a 4v2. This will continue until all the defenders are in the area. If all the defenders are in the area, then each pass will count as one point. The defenders can gain possession of the ball if they are able to win the ball back and pass it back to their teammate in their own half, or if the possessing team kicks the ball out of bounds. 
If the ball goes out of bounds and it comes off of the defending team, then the possessing team will regain possession of the ball. However, their pass tally will reset to zero. The team with the most amount of points at the end of the round will be the winners. Once your players have become more comfortable in possession of the ball, Keep Ball Chaos is a great possession game. Set up your 20 by 30 yard area with two goals and three teams of three to four. For this example, the red and blue team are the possessing team, with the yellow team being the defending team. The possessing teams must try to make as many passes as possible, with five passes equaling one point. The defending team must try to win the ball back and score in either of the two goals for one point. They will also get a point if they are able to force the ball out of bounds off a possessing team player. The team with the most amount of points will be the winner. This is an excellent drill to remind players that they should be playing with their head up, scanning around them whether they are on or off the ball. The 2v2 possession square is an intense drill that puts a lot of emphasis on movement off the ball. If you're a player off the ball, the first movement should always be for the defender, with the last movements away being towards the space you want to receive the ball. For the setup, you'll need a 10 by 10 yard area, one soccer ball, and two teams of two in each square. To score a point, the possessing team will need to make three passes in a row. The defending team is trying to steal the ball, and once they do, it is their chance to try and score points. The team with the most amount of points at the end of the round will be the winners. You can create a ladder system with multiple squares, with the winning team moving up the ladder and the losing team moving down the ladder. This is a great possession drill that will teach your team to play forward and either through or around defensive lines. For the 2v2 target player drill, you'll need a 10 by 10 yard area, one soccer ball and two teams of four. Designate two players on each team to become the target players for their two teammates in the middle. The goal is to get the ball from one target player to another target player for one point. However, if a target player can play directly to the opposite target player, that will be worth 3 points instead. The players in the middle must work hard to create angles and receive the ball on the back foot in an open body position to play the ball forward as quickly as possible. The target player without the ball must create options for their teammates to go forward. Definitely try this 3 team possession game if you want to challenge your teams. Not only do players have to keep the ball under pressure, but they must also look to play through defensive lines if they want to stay out of the middle. Divide your 15 by 30 yard area into thirds with three teams of four. Put each team in their own third with the two teams on the outside thirds being the possessing teams and the team in the middle of the third being the defending team. The possessing team will start with the ball with two defenders allowed in to try and win the ball back with the other two defenders staying in the middle section. To score a point, the possessing team must make five passes and switch the play to the other possessing team. If the defenders win the ball back, this includes the players in the middle, or if the ball goes out of bounds off the possessing team, then the defenders will swap with the possessing team, with the possessing team who lost the ball becoming the defenders in the middle section. The winning team will be the team that gets the most points. Finally, this 4v4 small-sided possession game is a great way to tie in all the coaching points into a game-like scenario. The purpose of this drill is to encourage your players to be comfortable with the ball under pressure and look to pull defenders apart to create space further up the pitch to attack. Set up your pitch and divide your players into two teams of four. If a team is able to make five passes in their own half and score a goal, the goal will be worth three points instead of one. While the possessing team is in their own area, only two defenders can enter the half to try and win the ball back. The team with the most amount of points at the end of the game will be the winner. Now make your possession count and score more goals from wide areas with these 10 crossing and finishing drills. Like, subscribe, peace.